right, hey, what is going on, everybody? Ali here, and welcome to my My Hero Academia, Pokemon My Hero Academia, episode 33, or season 2, episode 20 review. This one's going to be really quick, because um, I not only I had to go to work, but um, there wasn't, like, th actually, there was a lot of stuff that happened, like, with um, learning about All for One, and where One for All originated from. It originated from this man in the past when, like, super when powers were, like, just starting kind of to become like a norm and everything and how the guy who uh has all for one is able to take quirks from people and keep them or he can give them to other people and everything like that's like it's such a broken quirk it's like ridiculous and he had a younger brother that like his his sense of justice was like completely different from his brother. His brother's like was straight up evil. The guy who had all for one was just straight up evil. So the guy who had all for one, he forced um his brother and like like, like gave him a quirk, like forced it onto him. But what and nobody knew was that his little brother had the quirk. It's kind of like a hopeless quirk by itself, but it's basically a quirk of inheritance. Like he can give people like his quirk and stuff like he can he can pass it along and adding on to the quirk that his older brother all for one gave him the quirk um basically the quirk of like continuous like build up of power mixing with his quirk that he can like pass on to people and like build up the strength like even more was the origin of one for all and I thought that's just like awesome. That's it's such a cool way. And uh, All Might saying that like he did kill All for One, but um, I guess he got regenerative powers. So All for One uh, made the League of Villains and everything. And it turns out that he's probably he's gonna pass on his power or something like that to uh, Shigaraki, which I'm like, oh my gosh, like it, it, Shigaraki's insane. He's gonna be the new All for One. Deku's gonna be the new One for All. It's just so cool to, to like think about. And also something that uh, All Might was going to say to Deku. Deku's saying that, like, if you're here, I'm, I'm going to be fine and stuff. And then All Might was going to say something, but it sounds like he's saying that he's going to die or something. Like, when One for All completely leaves him or something, like, he dies? I, I don't know. That's it. I feel like that is a pretty cool, like, uh, like thought to, like, think about. But at the same time... You lo he loses the quirk, so he dies. I'm like, all that stuff was really cool. And that was, like, the biggest thing that happened in this episode. But also, seeing that, like, rescue uh, training or something like that, the hero training that they had in the beginning with Midoriya just jumping off everything. Everybody's like, Midoriya has, like, a huge disadvantage right now. And seeing as, like, he always gets injured whenever he uses his quirk, no, but no, nobody saw his training. No, no, like, with Gran Torino, which was awesome. He's just jumping like a freaking frog and stuff, copying kind of what uh, Bakugo used to do and stuff. Really great stuff. Uh, he didn't win, though. Uh, what's his name? Saro, the guy with the tape and stuff, he won. But, like, overall, that was just awesome. That was fun to see everybody's, like, surprised face. Like, oh, my gosh, he can, he, he like, he, he, can he can do his jumping and stuff without getting injured and everything. Very clean. Very awesome to surprise everybody. Very cool. Nobody thought that Midori was going to win. But, uh, I mean, he didn't win. But, like, they, he, they all got surprised by what he was doing. There was a lot of funny moments, too. With, uh, with, uh, jo uh what is, uh, what's her name? Uh, Earphone Jack. I keep forgetting her name. Joy Chiro or s something like that. But, um, the funny thing, like, Mineta saw something in, like, the boys' locker room. It was, like, a peephole. And, uh, Earphone Jack, she stabbed him in the eye when he was about to look in there. And then, sh and then she says, like, I'm the only one he didn't, like, mention or something. Like, she was jealous or something. Like, what? Why would you be jealous of that? But I thought that was funny. A lot of things were funny. Um, this episode was really good. That's mostly what uh, I that I in, that was interesting to me. We got to see all for one at the end. Like he doesn't have like a face because because All Might smashed his face in five years ago. Like completely destroyed his face. But I guess he had like regenerative like powers that were like that he took too late. I guess and so he doesn't have like half of his face there's nothing all he has is like a mouth and maybe his ears i don't know but that is like insane and that was a cool way 
to end the episode and I think next episode there's going to be like more training like at a summer camp or something or the next two episodes maybe so um I, I'm excited for that I hope you guys are excited for that this was a good episode episode 33 season 2 episode 20 very good stuff I would give it an 8 out of 10 or a seven and a half to an eight out of ten because there wasn't like too many things except we did get to learn about the origin of one for all and about all for one very awesome stuff so um yeah seven and a half to an eight out of ten so that is it for this one like the video if you did like the video if you liked this episode and everything comment down below in your thoughts of this episode and subscribe to my channel for more reviews vlogs unboxings live reactions and different discussion videos and things like that so gentlemen stay classy ladies stay sexy but most importantly everybody you gotta stay a little nasty all right so peace and love and i will see you all later with the next video peace out sorry for the lighting it's not good but um yeah peace and love see you later